I'm Mark. And I'm Cam. And this is Rev Talks. So today we are going inside the mind of a CRO to see what they're thinking about and how sellers can stand out when interacting with them. Mark, I want to jump right into your world. As the CRO of SalesLoft, what is absorbing most of your time? The thing that uh, I spend most of my time on is making sure our teams can do things in a scalable and repeatable way. Partly it's about finding out what our best sellers do and acting like a bumblebee and cross-pollinating them from flower to flower. And then it's making sure that folks follow the processes that we've designed, making sure they're not skipping steps to make sure that every investment we make is deployed repeatably and scalably in the success of our customers. Awesome. And I know sales has changed a lot in the last couple of years. We talk about that all the time. But what do you think is next for sales? What's coming in the next 12 to 18 months? Yeah. I think buyers are flooded with all kinds of reach outs to them that don't necessarily address their concerns or their needs. And so when I get reached out to by folks every day, I react to the messages that have a precision and personalization and really seem to understand what I'm thinking and doing. And when I see our sellers be effective with what they're doing, it's when they understand their customers, they're being very precise, they're being very targeted with their messaging, they've done their research, because the customer has probably done a ton of research on you already. And so I think the sellers need to do the same thing. Be practiced and be researched and understand exactly the message that you need to deliver at the right time. Yeah, that makes sense. And I know we talk about sales changing a lot. It felt really good for a few years and now it's starting to feel a little bit harder. Like, why do you think that is? Yeah, I talk about this a lot, but uh, you know, there's always two sort of orbits that are happening. One sort of major orbit is the earth moving around the sun. And those are things that are really slow to change. Those things in sales are like doing really good discovery and creating really strong business cases and aligning to champions and getting the right coaches. Those things really never go out of style. They evolve over time, but they never go out of style. The things that are changing a little bit more quickly that have us feeling like we're in the state of constant stress or disruption are a little bit different. That's more like the 24 hour clock in terms of how the earth is turning. And those are things like zero interest rate environment. Those are things like, you know, certain new products come and they create a short term disruption. Those short term situations happen all the time. But the sellers who are perennially strong are really good at the fundamentals always. They build good business cases. They align to the company's goals and outcomes. They create a narrative that's strategic to how the customer can be successful with their objectives. Our best salespeople are always doing those things, no matter what the short term climates look like. It's really about like resilience as a seller. So like if a seller feels like sales is getting really hard right now, what should they do? Go back to the basics. It's all about the fundamentals. Build good business cases. Understand your customers' outcomes that they're looking for. Truly care about your customers. I think that's the thing that we miss is sales is a measurement of how effective you are at doing your job. It's not your job. Your job is to help customers solve problems. You build products that solve customers' problems. We measure the efficacy of solving those problems with revenue. And so sometimes salespeople and even sales leaders get those two things you know, flipped around a little bit. Those are just measurements of how effective you are at doing your job. They're not your job necessarily. Yeah, I love that. So I have one final question for you in this episode. Probably been in those really old school sales offices where there's the inspirational posters on every single wall. If you got to make a poster, what would it say? I'd quote one of my mentors and leaders, and he has a quote, his name is Larry Satterfield. I worked for him at Cisco. And he used to say, uh, I'm a sales guy, not a historian. I might update that a little bit. I'm a salesperson, not a historian, but that's one we have on a little bobblehead doll that we gave to him upon his retirement. And it sits on my desk. It's been there for 15 years. And reminds me every day that it's about what you've done today, not what you did yesterday. All right, well, thanks for tuning into the show today. In the next episode of Rev Talks, we'll be talking about how sellers can find mutual success with buyers. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.